Today we're doing something a little different. We are heading to a supercharger that's actually under construction. So let's check it out. Navigate to Schwartz Creek Meyer. So I think this is a pretty unique opportunity. Maybe not out west, there's a lot more superchargers. They're always being built out there. But in Michigan, we don't have a lot of superchargers. Uh, I've checked out a couple around here. There's not many that are under construction, uh, but this one is relatively close to me. It's about a half hour away. And it's at a Meyer. A lot of the superchargers in this area are at Meyers. Uh, and Meyer has uh, some other deals with Tesla. They're buying some of the semis and things like that. So I thought it would be pretty interesting to just head up here uh, see what's going on. I, I really don't know what stage of construction they're at. I don't know if there's wires in the ground or they haven't even started digging yet. I don't know, but it is on the map. I can show you the map and all Tesla says it's coming sometime in 2019. So um, they got six months to complete this, but I thought it'd be really cool, you know, to just go check out what it looks like before the site is up. And hopefully there's, you know, some stuff there, some stuff to check out. Uh, maybe the ground is open up and we can see some of the tubing and the pipes that the wires are, are run through. It's really exciting to get new superchargers around because like I said, there aren't a whole lot around here and I don't even really have one anywhere near me within uh, a half hour. This one will probably be the closest one. There is one in Auburn Hills that's a similar distance, but I think it's slightly farther than this one. Uh, this is not somewhere I normally go. I pretty much never go north. Uh, I go south for everywhere I go. So uh, I don't think this is a supercharger I'll be using. Maybe I'll check it out when it opens. That would be pretty interesting as well to maybe see if there's some type of grand opening or something. Um, but beyond that, it's, it's not somewhere that I'm normally gonna be. I do have a Meyer within like 10 minutes of my house and I really wish that Tesla or Meyer, whoever makes that decision, would put a supercharger there because because it is at the cross section of two major roads. Uh, it's on this highway, US 23, uh, and then there's a cross uh, divided highway there, uh, M59, and it would be a great you know, spot for a supercharger. There are no other superchargers around. There's a ton of traffic there. There's a lot of people that go through that area. Um, and it's also pretty rural, so it would bring you know, a little bit more awareness of Tesla you know, to that area where um, there aren't many Teslas. I, I'm one of the only ones. I do see sometimes another Model X around there, and I have seen a couple Model 3s, but it's really rare to see any other Teslas in that area. All right, well, it looks like we got about 13 miles to go, so let's finish that up, and I'll see you there. So we're just taking our exit here. I have never been here, um, so I'm kind of letting autopilot do everything. It seems to be doing pretty well. I don't know exactly where we're going, but you know, of course, it's it's on the map here. We're pretty close, and that guy's an idiot. <laughs> oh my gosh, jeez, don't don't do that. That's that's how you cause accidents. All right, so here we are taking our exit to Schwartz Creek, Michigan. We're going to Meyer. This is just outside of Flint. Uh, Elon Musk actually visits Flint occasionally. He seems to have kind of a heart for the people there suffering from the water crisis, and he's done a lot there. So that's that's actually really cool of him. He doesn't, you know, need to do anything like that. But when you have the means, it's nice to uh, help out people when you can. So there's the Meyer right up ahead. It's right off the freeway, so that's pretty nice. Um, now we just gotta find, oh, I think I see some construction equipment up there. So maybe that's where it is. If anyone not familiar with Meyer, it is a privately owned Michigan company. You can find them outside of Michigan, I didn't know that until recently, but there's some in Ohio and I think uh, a couple other states as well. Okay, so usually the superchargers are kind of far from the store. So I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some, some cones up here. I'm guessing this is where everything is. Did I confuse that guy? Oh yeah, this is definitely it. Oh, very cool. So 
that's the power right there. Oh, awesome. Wow, look at this. All right, here, let's pull in uh, straight. So these are gonna be the signs. You can see this red pole here um, where uh, the supercharger, you know, the supercharger sign is gonna be on these red poles. So it looks like we have uh, one, two, three, four, five stalls. And I don't know if there you can park on both sides and charge at the same time. I've, I've never seen anything like that. Um, but let's let's get out and, and check this out. All right, normally something like this I'd record with my phone, but let's uh, do the GoPro today. So yeah, these are the poles you would see that hold the signs, you know, that tell you that these are Tesla superchargers. So there are one, two, three, four, five, actually six spots to park on each side. Um, but I don't know if you'll be able to actually have, you know, uh, six cars on each side all charging at the same time. I don't see why not. I don't see why they would build it like that otherwise. But let's uh, get back here and get a view. So there's that. Pretty nice. And then these are the power cabinets um, where all the power comes from. These look nice and new. They got locks on them. High voltage, risk of electric shock, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is all open though. There's there's no ropes or anything uh, roping this off. So we can look at this side. Nothing is running. I don't hear any anything going. Some type of hose there I'm not gonna touch. Um, pretty interesting. There's Notice to the public, solicitation or distribution of literature. Okay, so that has nothing to do with the supercharger. It's just don't spam Meyer with your crap. Uh, I don't see anything here that denotes Tesla at all. There's no Tesla branding whatsoever. Oh, this is cool. Look at this, charger number one. Do not install closer than six inches to surrounding surfaces. But it's still nothing about Tesla. It didn't say Tesla anywhere. And now that I'm seeing that this says charger one, I can assume these other ones are for the other chargers. There are five of these boxes. And then when I look over here, there are one, two, three, four poles that look like they're ready for signs. And then maybe at the end, they'll put one more. So I would assume then, just based off of that, that this is a five stall supercharger. But it's weird that you can park on both sides. Like I said, I haven't seen a supercharger uh, like that. If I go to this side, Yeah, it doesn't say anything. All right. Oh, look at this says Tesla. I found it. Finally, for use with electric vehicles. Ventilation not required. Very cool. So there is Tesla branding. And this is this sticker is on all of these big units here. So can we figure out what size? Is this a 250 kilowatt supercharger? or not. I would assume it's not, but... No, it says Supercharger 2 right here. I assume that, yeah, 135 kilowatts, so maybe it'll be a 150 kilowatt charger. Well, if you can tell from this sticker, you know, comment below. L let us know what you think. I would assume we're not getting any version 3s in Michigan anytime soon. So that is it. Uh, it's still still waiting. I don't know, uh, you know, what, what step they're at. Obviously, it looks like all the tubing is in the ground for the, well, they put tubing down and then they run the wires through the tubes. I can try to find a picture to show you. Uh, but it looks like that's all done. This is all finished. All the concrete's finished. They got the poles up. Uh, maybe they're just waiting for final inspection. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, if you're familiar with this supercharger or maybe each step that a supercharger goes through, comment below. Let me know uh, what you think they're waiting for here because <laughs> uh, they just need to put these guys in, I think. Wondering if I really don't want to get in trouble here, but is there anything under here? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's where sort the of supercharger goes. All right, I don't want to get in trouble, but... <laughs> um, there, we can see under those cones, that's probably where they, you know, connect up the superchargers.
All right, well, very cool. I've never seen, you know, a supercharger under construction before. Probably one of the only opportunities I'm gonna get. Um, but it was actually pretty fun to check out. I'll have to keep up to date on this and let you know when this one's open. Um, and I'll have to try it out when it's new. Maybe, I don't know if they have some kind of grand opening for them. I can come check it out and charge my car, be one of the first ones at this supercharger. That'd be awesome. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit like, get subscribed, and I'll see you next time.